Hello and welcome back to the Hasbro YouTube channel. It is Harry here, and today it is time for the not very anticipated follow-up video to my one that I did the other day, ranking every single national team based on their record appearance maker. And today, as you might have guessed, it is the turn of the record goal scorers. Everything is more clearly outlined in the first video, so I'll leave that in the description for you to watch if you haven't done so already, as well as sparing you from one of my very lengthy and leadless introductions. But all information is correct as of the 1st of April 2021, and without any further ado, let's see how each national team ranks when it comes to their record goal scorers. If you want to talk about a mixture of greats of the game and absolute minnows on the international scene, then look no further than the top 20 nations by this criteria. I think the top goal scorer in men's international football history is pretty well known, but mostly by virtue of the fact that the man in second, Cristiano Ronaldo, is chasing Ali Dyer of Iran down, but he is still 6 goals shy of Dyer's mind-boggling total of 109 goals in 149 games, and he isn't even Iran's record appearance maker either. Meanwhile, we also have the likes of Ferenc Pushkash, Pele, Lionel Messi and Miroslav Klose, all of whom are either considered amongst the greatest of all time or, at the very least, of their generation, but all are beaten by Malaysia's Maktar Dahari, who scored 89 goals in 142 games. We also have India's finest in Sunil Shetri and Malawi's most prolific marksman Kina Pidi, who has scored the same number of goals on the international stage as the GOAT himself. The first seven names in the second bracket are all superstars of the modern game, with five of them still active on the international scene, giving them a real chance of breaking into the top 20, especially Romelu Lukaku, who has scored 59 goals for Belgium at the age of just 27. However, we also have Robert Lewandowski, David Villa, Didier Drogba, Zlatan Ibrahimovic, Luis Suarez and Enin Dzeko from that 21st to 27th bracket, which undoubtedly helps to make this segment of 20 teams the most star-packed out of all of them, supplemented by the likes of Wayne Rooney, Samuel Eto'o and the Man Mountain Jan Koller. Having said that, the nations ranked from 41st to 60th don't come too far behind, with Thierry Henry, Robin van Persie, Dimitar Berbatov, Andrei Shevchenko and Alexis Sanchez representing France, the Netherlands, Bulgaria, Ukraine and Chile respectively extremely well, all within the space of just 10 teams. There is still space for lesser nations though, such as Haiti with Emmanuel Sanon, St Kitts and Nevis with Keith Gums and Malta, whose finest product Michael Mifsud makes another appearance. As mentioned in the previous video, this is exactly what I love about international football, as you get that melange of small and large teams and players all in one, and there is absolutely no hierarchy when it comes to superstardom or lack thereof, it's just a case of pure, cold stats. As was the case in the previous video, the fourth bracket of 20 teams is the point where most of the traditional powerhouses have already been and gone, and now we are mostly left with the countries who haven't proven to be the most successful when it comes to trophies on the international scene. That being said, there are still two surprises, or certainly to me at least, within this 20 team screen, and one of them is the presence of Italy so far down, as despite Gigi Riva retiring 47 years ago and only playing 42 games for the Azzurri, no one has managed to overtake his 35 goal haul for them either since or before, which might either be an indication of how defensive minded the country's football has been over the years, or that they've chopped and changed their strikers too frequently for them to make a lasting impression on the national team. The other is Radamel Falcao for Colombia on exactly the same tally as Riva, although I'm sure he'll bag at least a few more before retirement to propel himself a few places up the list. The lowly Myanmar, Oman, Hong Kong and Syria all have record goal scorers who have scored more than the four-time world champions of Italy, which is quite impressive when you think about it. On the next part of the list, I'm certain you'll be all too familiar with the drill by now, but we have yet more relative unknowns in the form of Maxim Shatshik of Uzbekistan or Comins Manapi of the Solomon Islands, both of whom have scored more for their nations than Gareth Bale, Emmanuel Adebayor and Yari Litmanen have for theirs. Bale's inclusion so low down actually surprised me a little bit, as I thought he had more goals for the Welsh national team than he actually does, but alas, I was proven wrong, although given that he is 31 and still tearing it up for Wales, I have a feeling that he might either find a way to break into, or come very close to, the top 50 full record goal scorers. As you may have noticed by now, there are a load of ties for the numbers, which is hardly surprising, considering that with 133 nations still left to go, we've already reached as low as 35 goals being a nation's record, so it would be extremely rare to see one isolated figure on one particular number, instead of two or more nations tied on the same number. However, one such example does appear in the next segment though, as New Zealand's Vaughan Coveney is out on its own as being the only record goal scorer for any international team to have scored 28 goals, which I don't think he'll either know or care about, but hey, at least it's something. 
Besides him, you have your standard mix of world-class talent like Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang and Kenny Dalglish for Gabon and Scotland respectively, and minnows including Ali Al Nono for Yemen, Kassan Jaya Saria for Sri Lanka, and Nasser El Din Abbas for Sudan, which is why the whimsical world of international football can sometimes be so great. I'm sure that you're sick and tired of me finding new ways to try to introduce various sections, and to be honest, I am as well, but this is the bed that I made, so I might as well lie in it. However, there is a name in here which sticks out to me personally, and that is Manchester City cult hero Sean Gota, who scored more than 100 goals for the club between 1998 and 2003, helping them to reassert their place in the Premier League by the time he departed. Although Napoli fans will perhaps feel a greater affection for the name of Manik Hamšík, who stars for Slovakia in this list, given that he is also Napoli's record appearance maker, and before Dries Mertens overtook him, their record goal scorer as well. On the next page though, there are two extremely noteworthy names I feel as though I need to discuss. And no, it's not Mario Frick of Liechtenstein just for his name. The first is George Weah for Liberia, given that he is not only the president of the country, and thus the only president to feature in this entire video, but also the lowest ranked person to feature who has won the Ballon d'Or. Although of course, many players who have won the Ballon d'Or have scored fewer goals than his 18 for Liberia on the international stage, but given that he was a striker, and by about 7,000 country miles Liberia's greatest ever player, I was a bit surprised to see his tally that low. The second is Giamelsi Mbokani, whose nation of the Democratic Republic of Congo, for the second video in a row, are the lowest ranked side to have ever qualified for a World Cup, which is either a damning indication on their part, or a positive reflection on all the others. I think it may be both. To be honest, I think these next two screens are ones which I can almost gloss over entirely, so I won't bore you to tears by analysing each of them in depth, although if you want to look at them yourselves, just pause the video and absorb the stats. Having said that, I do want to highlight the fact that Kosovo, despite only being admitted to FIFA in 2016, are still ahead of 29 other nations in terms of their record goal scorer, and tied with two others, including Andorra, whose record goal scorer and appearance maker is a defender in the form of Ida de Franschlima. The next one plays host to countries which I recently profiled in my Nation Roulette series, such as the British Virgin Islands and Mongolia, as well as Andy Selva, the record goal scorer for the lowest ranked international team according to FIFA at this moment. But finally, we reach the lowest 10 ranked national teams when it comes to their separate record goal scorers. And like last time, if you've kept track of which teams are left, then have a medal. Will Somalia come in last again? Well, no, they don't. They actually come in joint second last alongside American Samoa and Gibraltar, with the lowest ranked nation this time being the US Virgin Islands, whose top scorers, six of them, have all scored just two goals for them. In all, six nations, namely American Samoa, the Cook Islands, the US Virgin Islands, Eritrea, Montserrat and Somalia, feature in the bottom 10 for both the record appearance holders and goal scorers. Just before this video concludes, I thought I'd provide you two more completely needless stats that you'll forget as soon as you finish watching this video, but I think are quite interesting nonetheless. One of them is that there are 36 nations who have the same top goal scorer and record appearance maker, although five of them, namely Eritrea, South Korea, Mauritania, St Vincent and the Grenadines and Scotland, see their player share the accolade, either one of them, with somebody else. The other stat is that the biggest gap between a country's top scorer and record cap holder is a staggering 146, with Jordan seeing Amir Shafi win 176 caps, but their record goal scorers, namely Hassan Abde Fattah and Badran Al Shakran, are both tied on 30 goals each. If you found those stats interesting, then I'm glad, but if you didn't, I completely understand, and I'll let you get on with your day by wrapping up this video right now. So if you enjoyed this video, and indeed the previous one of ranking every single country based on their record appearance makers and goal scorers, then feel free to drop a like button on the video because it really does help the channel to grow somewhat, and if you haven't done so already, hit that subscribe button, that massive red button underneath the video if you enjoy my content and want to see more from me. And of course, you can ring the little notification bell to get notified whenever I upload a video straight away, just in case the subscription box doesn't work for some reason. Thank you very much for watching in any case, until next time, I'll see you then.